Last Easter, we had an incredible turnout that was above and beyond our capacity. The room was packed, people were celebrating, people were singing, our lobby was full, and people were crammed shoulder to shoulder. And it was such a good problem to have. And as we saw people come, and we saw people fill up Connect cards and say they were so happy to be here, but never return, we started to pray why. We started to wonder. And that started a journey for us. So I migrated to the United States in 2015, December or so. It was pretty hard, you know, leaving my family behind. At the time, we had just had our daughter, Mommy. She was, say, two months old when I was leaving them behind. And Nana, just two years old. And my wife, Rita, emotionally leaving them for the first time in my, my life. It was, it was really tough. My first job was with a bank here in Frederick. One Sunday, I woke up and I found this church, which was about five to ten, seven minutes drive from where I lived in Ballinger Creek. So my experience was that I was connected to this church from the very first day. And ever since, I was there at 1045 every Sunday. And all I did was soak the word. Finally, three and a half years down the line, I was able to get my family here, the family I had left behind. And trust me, it's one of the happiest days in my life to have met them in, at the airport. They arrived on a Friday or Saturday. The Sunday, we were in church together. I introduced them to the entire family here in the church, and we were super excited to meet them as well. What Emmanuel New Design means to myself and my family is sometimes can't be put into words. For me, it was life-saving. For myself and my wife, it was the cement in our marriage. It has enabled us to travel throughout our married life, our spiritual life, with a bond that is so strong that it's hard to put into words. The foundation and basis of it here is through Jesus Christ and through New Design being a place that we can worship and share with others. And it's just been so foundational for myself and my family and those around me that I've been able to impact. The second we walked in, it's like everybody knew you already. I never felt like I was a visitor. I was a guest there. It was my first time. I still, to this day, every serving, it hits what I'm struggling with that week. And being able to hear it through the Bible and being able to proactively put it into my life has been a big change in my life. For these kids to come home and talk about wanting to invite their friends to church, the church at that age, it's, it's very encouraging. Frederick is, is growing at an incredible rate. The building everywhere you look in Frederick, there are developments going up, there's housing units going up, there's industry coming to Frederick all the time. The county is growing, the city is growing, the community around our church is growing. Statistics say that we're the fastest growing county in Maryland. And so we wanna see that continue and we know it's going to continue and we need to be ready for that. We need to be ready for the growth that God wants to bring and that he's already bringing to the community. There's need right around the corner here. There's need across the street. There's need downtown. People need to be seen and touched and reached. My heart is that we can use the facility as God sees it, not as we see it. How he instructs us, how he leads us to reach the unsaved. This next step is a step that is divine. It is a step that is expected of us because our goal is to, as disciples, is to reach out and bring souls to Christ. That is what this very next step entails. One of the joys of partnering with other churches and letting other ministries use our building is that we get to see what God is doing in new ways in different ministries. But that brings challenges. Our nursery is full. Our kids' area is full. Our lobby is full. Some events were wondering, like, ugh. Are we breaking fire code here because there's so many people in this church? As people try to come in and make a connection, even just make their way over and grab something off of the Welcome Center, maybe even a coffee, they can't do it. Our bathrooms are at capacity if more than three people go in it at a time. And that's impossible to grow past 70 people, let alone 100 people, 150 or more. So rather than expand, we started to think about a redesign 
What would it look like if we were to redesign traffic flow? What would it look like if we were to design spaces intentionally for relational discipleship and fellowship where groups could meet and have dinners? We could have trainings. We could have a space that was larger for kids, young and old, and we could have an opportunity to minister to other ministries in the community. We could start to consider being not just a growing church, but a sending church where we were developing pastors, church planters, future church leaders that we would send out into the community and all of the county, Maryland, all the Mid-Atlantic District, and beyond into the country and into the world. In conversations with some of the original leaders, God just led them in 1989 to build this vision along with the building. And part of it was, and I've just reviewed the original plans, was that someday where we're sitting now in the worship center, this would be used as a more convivial space for events and maybe young adults and youth. And there was a real sense of that this was not just the finished building. And that was exciting. And we flash forward 30 years and, and we're ready to take that step. You know, God's plans only work in his time, not ours. And it seems on our hearts that this vision is where we need to go now. The vision that God has given us is incredibly exciting and it's incredibly terrifying. I've never been a part of anything this large before, but I see the need. The thing that I've wrestled through is what if we don't do this? What if we don't? What are the other options? Do we just remain content with the fact that we haven't seen numbers of people come to Christ, even though the community is growing at a rapid rate. Are we content with the number of baptisms? Are we content with the leaders that we are developing and sending out? I'm not, and I know you're not. With our community these days and for the younger generation, I hope that families can see this as a place of refuge for their souls to grow and their minds to grow at the same time. So as we go through the steps from all the way from designers tots through designers kids and youth, uh, we see ourselves being a, a hub in the community for educating children in about Jesus Christ and, and the love and grace and mercy he has. I see the possibility for New Design to be a community hub. I see it as a place that people can go if they're looking for community resources. You know, people will come into our doors looking for help. A lot of it is, you know, we have to redirect them to places in downtown Frederick. You may be wondering, what on earth are we doing? I gotta be honest, I kind of feel a little bit like Joshua standing at the edge of the promised land thinking, how can we take these fortified cities? How on earth can we do this? We're not an army. We're a group of nomads coming out of the desert saying that this is what God has asked us to do. But isn't that the key? If God wants it done, won't he do it? Sometimes it's not just about church service. We have to be there for the community. It is time for us to make that bold step, to take that bold step, to help others. So my family has been impacted and blessed by New Design. It's been a powerful, powerful journey. I'm asking you and your family to partner with us at New Design and be a part of our future as we work for the kingdom of God. And I am looking forward to the stories that you'll share about how excited you are that the Future Faith Vision Campaign is happening and that you get to be a part of it. I love how God is already shaping the hearts and minds of the current New Design Church. And I can't wait to see what he does in the redesign of New Design Church. I want to invite you to partner with us, to seek the Lord, for how he might encourage you and empower you to sacrificially give above and beyond in a brand new way to redesign our facility. First of all, I'd encourage you to pray. How might the Lord be asking you to sacrificially give? Has he given you a, a sense of what could happen? What could you be a part of if you were to sacrificially give and support the Future Faith Campaign? Secondly, I'd ask you to pledge. I'd ask you to consider what you might give over the next three years in order to see this vision come to fruition. And then finally, I'd encourage you to share the word with people that you know. Let them know the work that God wants to do here. Let them know how you are excited about it. 
share about how can they partner with you as you partner with New Design in this new direction that God has us on. I want to invite you to join us in future faith to redesign New Design.